Doing advanced buys and sells can be a bit complicated on Coinbase at first glance, but it really isn't. I'm going to show you now in a few minutes my tips and tricks and how to do this really quickly by trimming the fat and only focusing on the main properties. I'm going to talk about buys first and then sell. So let's get started. With buys, you have three different options for orders. Limit, market, stop limit. First things first, ignore stop limit. It's overly complicated and it's never worked that well for me. Just focus on limit and market. Market is essentially buying at the exact price the market is when you press the buy order. So if I want to do $100 of Litecoin and press buy, it will just buy at whatever price it happens to be at that particular point. That means if it's a bit volatile, you might buy it at slightly higher or lower than you originally thought. But if you just want to buy it really quickly, this can help. The only thing I will say is the fees can be a bit higher than the other type of order. In this case, all my fees are low, but for you, it might be about a dollar or so. So just keep in mind that market orders should not really be used unless you have to use it in emergency and it will have higher fees. And then limit order. This is essentially setting a price in advance to then automatically buy on. So if I do say 105, because it's almost at 105 here, 105 is down here. I set this and then I want to do $100 worth. As soon as press buy, it sets the order. And then as soon as the price hits my desired price, it will automatically buy it for me. So I can be asleep and then it will automatically fill this order for me. So it's a bit like automating your trading. What you can also do with these kinds of boxes here is you can also switch it to the coin itself or USDC. So I could just say, oh, I just want to buy one Litecoin. You can do either one. Just depends how you want to organize it. Now, here's the main thing. Execution. Is it allow taker or post only? I see this question all the time. And to be totally honest with you, I don't fully know what the difference is. And it's very hard to actually find out without getting an overly complicated explanation. But here's the thing you want to know. Only use post only. If I go on to allow taker, you can see the fee is 26 cents. If I use post only, it's down to 16. So almost half the fee. And I found, because I only use post only and I've done hundreds of trades, I've never had any problems with it. And I've never seen any advantages about using allow taker. So my advice is only use post only. You will have lower fees. Time and force is fairly self-explanatory. You can either pick it where as soon as you set the buy order, it's there indefinitely unless you cancel it manually or it gets filled or you can set it for a certain time so you might want to set it for two days if it's not filled or cancelled in two days it'll automatically be cancelled so if i do an example say i don't want to actually set it at 105 just in case it does fill i'll just set it at 100 to be safe i can press buy and it gets added to my order book here and then i can click and view it because it's set to good till cancel, this will be there indefinitely unless I cancel it or it gets filled. And I do want to actually cancel it because I don't want to buy any Litecoin right now. Okay, over to sell. This is pretty much the same information. So I'll just go over what's necessary. Instead of stop limit, it also has bracket and stop limit. Again, do not bother with this. It's kind of useless. Just do limit or market. And market is the same. You're just deciding how much you want to sell at the exact price it is right now. And then limit, you are just doing the same thing. You are setting a price to sell at. One thing to note is you can't set the price lower than it is right now. It has to be higher. So I could say I want to sell it at 106 and then my amount to sell. And then it has the same situation with buys where you can do allow take or post, post only, good to cancel. And then I can press sell Litecoin and a new order will be put in just like with the buy order. And there you go, that's all you need to know.